this time we are going to explore one QBC question. That is, write a program to check input number is automorphic number or not. First of all, what is automorphic number? So let me show you the example. First of all, as you can see here, automorphic number is any number. If you find out the square of the number, then at the end of the square, you will get the same number. Like you can see, last digit will be the same. The square of 5 is 25. At the end, last digit here, you can see it is itself 5. Again, 6 here. 6. The square of 6 is 36. At the end, you can see the 6 is here. So it is what? Automorphic number. Let's say 76. So the square of 76 is 5776. Now, as you can see here, at the last, we have 76 again. So the number itself is at the end of the square value. Now 376. Now we can see 141, 376. At the end, it is repeating. So what is this? This is automorphic number. So what we have to do is, in our program, we have to write Welcome back guys again to my YouTube channel, Make Easy. The code, so user will enter any number. We have to tell the user that is automorphic or not automorphic. So you need to write the code for that, logic for that. So I have already written the code over here because this will take a few minutes to write it here. But I will explain to you line by line. At the end, you will understand how it works. So let's begin first. First of all, what we need, we need one number. So enter any number and it is stored in n. Okay, let me test first whether it is working or not. Then I will show you the dry run of the program. So watch till the end and you will be 100% clear about this program. So, okay, so I will write here 6 automorphic number. It is correct. Already seen the example. And 76 also automorphic number. Yeah, it is displaying correct result. Let me run and enter 75 this time not an automorphic number yeah it is not so it is correct so basically logic behind this how we can do that so we can do that using uh, when we need one number first of all user will enter any number then we need to find out the square of that given number we have done here sq equals to n into n user enter number is here in the end so let me show you right and over in here so this is the simple way to do the dry run of any program to understand it. So now focus here. First of all, enter any number. So user will enter any number. Let's say this time I will enter 76. Now, original equals to n. So I have made one variable original. So for this also, I need to make one box to store the value. So let me copy this. So for every variable, we are using different box to Keep the record of the values original equals to n n means we have 76 so i'm storing that same 76 that original number in original variable fine then after that flag equals to zero so what is the use of this flag i will explain you later you can keep any variable name flag or anything else that's your choice but you have to keep it zero then for a square calculating sq equals to n into n so we have 76 so 76 into 76 the result is we have here 5776 you can do the calculation you will get the same sq equal to 776 5776 it is done this time so if you want to write multiple line uh, multiple statement in the same line then you have to use this over here i have used here colon so you can write multiple statement in the same line again after writing then colon and then again again if you want to write something else here then you can write print or something else by using colon so it should work now we have to use while loop for what purpose we are using while loop we need to check the last digit or the square root value whether that square contain the even given number or not so inside the while while loop started from here and while loop end at here so these lines of code will be repeated until this condition is met that is and not equals to zero when n equals to zero will come then this loop will terminate and then 
remaining line of code would be executed. So let's begin the loop. First of all, n not equals to zero. So n not equals to zero means what uh, we have here is 76. 76 not equals to zero. So let me write here also 76 not equals to zero. So this is true. 76 is not equals to zero. So this is true. When this is true, then this line will be executed inside the loop. So first what we are doing is last of n. This is the variable name. You can keep any a, b, c, d, your choice. But last of n means we are getting the last digit of this n variable by using <coughs> mod. And mod 10 means we'll get the 6 from here because integer uh, mod will give the last digit. So inside the last of n we'll get 6. Then after that sq mod 10. So we are getting the last digit of the square also. So inside the um, sq we have 5776 and if we are doing mod 10 then again what we'll get? We'll get this 6 because mod 10 sq mod 10 means 5776 mod 10. So we'll get 6. You can do calculation and you can check it. After that we need to check whether the last digit of this n and last digit of sq that is square is same or not so we are checking that if last of n that is this 6 and last of sq that is this 6 both are same but we are checking what not equals to same if these two are not same not equal but this is equal this uh, this is equal so it is false it is not equals to uh, we are checking but it is equals to that is false when this is false this line will not gonna execute it will go to the end if and after that we are doing one calculation that is n equals to n integer division 10 you know that what integer division will do integer division will remove the last digit so inside n we have 76 so 6 will be removed now inside the n we have 7 because we have stored that same in n then after that sq equals to sq integer division 10 again in the sq we have 5776 so 6 will be removed from here now we have only 577 so we check that the last is same and then we could do it now when when means end of while loop before ending the while loop it will check the condition again so inside the n what we have is 7 so this time we are checking 7 not equals to 0 again condition is true because 7 is not equals to 0 when condition is true then it will execute again repeating the same statement or executing same statement again and again using the while loop so this time what we are doing is last of n in this variable what we are storing n mod 10 that means it will give the last digit of the uh, n value n means 7 so last digit of this means we are getting 7 where we are storing last of n where it is yeah here 7 so last of n we are getting 7 now now last of sq inside the sq what we have sq mod 10 means sq 577 so by using this mod 10 we'll get last digit that means 7 from here where we are storing last of sq last of sq is here then it will store 7 then after that if last of n that is this we have 7 and last of sq this is this both are not same both are not same but it is again same so again this condition is false we are checking not same but it is same or equal it is equal then if it is false then it will not gonna execute again <coughs> the flag value will remain zero this time also because both are equal then after that again we are doing n equals to n integer division 10 integer division means it will remove the last digit then we have seven here seven is removed then we have last zero then after that sq equals to i'll repeat it again n equals to n integer division 10 integer division will remove the last digit we have only one digit here so if i remove this 7 what will left nothing that means 0 then sq equals to sq integer division 10 again in the sq what we have is 577 so we'll remove the last digit that is 7 so we have left 57 here fine <coughs> then again the do e and d end means end of while loop then it will go here and check the condition <coughs> Now this time we have n value is 0. So n value is 0 means we are checking 0 not equals to 0. This is the condition. Not equals to 0, no. 0 equals to 0. 
zero is not equals to zero condition is false because zero is equals to zero so condition is false so when this while loop is false this thing will not gonna execute now it will go after the wind that is end of while loop and after the wind what we are checking is if flag equals to zero if value of flag is equals to zero now what we have flag value yeah zero then it is automorphic number so what we have entered original value is 76 and flag value is zero then what is happening it is automorphic number yeah this is the correct result we are getting and when it is printing automorphic number condition is true then it will go to the end if it is not going to check else if this condition is false then only it will check the else if it is true then it is printing here and then it will go to the end if and then program is finished and then what we got in the output so the previous <coughs> output is this so by using this cls this will be removed and then this time what we'll get in the output is automorphic number so it will be automorphic number in the output screen so this is how it work so you can keep uh, 75 instead of 76 and you can check it this will give you not an automorphic number in your result and you can keep any number and do the same step and keep the values here and you will get the result and this is simple there are many logics to do same thing but it think it is a simple one and use of the flag over here is if this is not uh, equal then we are setting one but if this is equal then we are setting zero by default so if it is zero then we are saying that it is automorphic and else if it is not zero then it is one or something else then it is not automorphic it is simple just uh, watch this video once again and try it by yourself and you will be clear about it thank you for watching hit the subscribe button if you understand this concept and comment below have a great day and see you in the next video